no, the video. So basically, yeah. the, with the privatization of uh, of prisons, became a big money maker, and yeah. um, they randomly, and this is very okay. We'll talk about that part um, after. But ninety percent occupancy became a, a law. Yeah. They amongst. need to fill it to reach yeah, their contracts, need- which is corruption at its fucking So you purest, need, if you're impurest. a privatised prison, you need to have yeah. 90% occupancy. To receive your benefits and all that, from the which is super fucked which up. Is, it's your own people. It's your own correct. society. So you're wanting there to be 90%, which you is You need longer sentences. Fucked up to begin with. 100%. Um, so the, the premise of this conversation was that the, through the privatisation of prisons, uh, they were owned by companies like Vanguard, yep. um, which hold majority shares in companies like um, Viacom's uh, mm. and and a lot of media companies. Yeah, yeah. So basically, these media companies um, uh, were able to help push hip hop in a way to create incarceration, mass incarceration. So yep. promote. Um, crime, promote yeah. drug taking. Drugs. The coolness of Prom- selling drugs. Yeah, exactly. Coolness of being in the grind, of getting locked up. And behind, so yeah. the, the, the meeting that so apparently happened in about 1991 from mm. memory. I'm just yeah. going off memory. And I, I did a yeah, bit of research video. into this at the time and it fucking shook me that yeah, dude. it was just this blatant. But yep. the heads of these companies, these media companies, which mm. is so odd because the, the people who own the media companies also, Vanya, uh, Van, yeah. Vanguard, um, also own these private prisons, yeah. so it's they're one in the same. They're yeah. in bed with each other. They can basically make a rapper famous by putting yeah. them on MTV, 100%. Entertainment Weekly. They yep. can do this yep. they got the as long as they push the agenda and the fucking stuff that they want to say. Yep. So they realise that they need people in these prisons to keep making money. Yep. So why not promote the black community, which is yeah. what they were trying to, because it's prim- yep. pr- predominantly hip hop. To commit crimes, to take drugs, yep. to to be that stereotype of hip hop. Yep. And this in this meeting, the they got like I think it was from memory, you know, ten or fifteen of the most influential hip hop artists going around. It and was they crazy bone, crazy bone. Oh no shit, yeah, from they, yeah, bone thugs. Yeah, yeah, and they sat them down and they just said, you know, like this is um this is what it is. Yeah. Um, we need and, and f- from memory, I don't know how they justified it to them. Do you remember? Yeah, how I don't they, know how. They, I don't know how they would sell it. Aside so they, from money, so they were going to give them money. They were going to yeah. give them money, yeah. and fame, yeah. if they pushed and promoted their violence agenda. And so violence and gang violence and gang related um, mm. things. And uh, I remember a couple of these uh, artists were like, "Fuck this! You yeah. are literally creating division." It's a racial thing. Yeah. It's it's you're trying to incarcerate our families, our, our own brothers, people. our own yeah. people, straight up. Through tr- through you trying to make money. Yeah. This is the quote um, at the end of the article. It says, uh, I remember many of us in the group immediately looked at each other. So this is Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yeah, 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 yeah this yeah. is it. This Looking is at it, each yeah. other in confusion. At the time, I didn't know what a private prison was, but I wasn't the only one. Sure enough, someone asked what the prisons were and what, have, what any of this had to do with us. We were told that these prisons were built by privately owned companies who received funding from the government based on the number of inmates. Yeah. The more inmates, the more money the government would pay these prisons. Yeah. Originally, this started off as an anonymous letter. 